Who still eats your bill on to this day? Where is your hand? Just me? Word. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I love this cereal. The only thing I don't like about it is the raisin. Alright. Oh, I'm going to be ranting about different shit, so bear with me and stay with me. But if you ain't feeling it, that's cool, whatever. Why must I see something like this when I log into my account? California principal charge after being caught on camera shoving autistic kid, etc. Because it goes on, but I didn't. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe it's blurry. I don't know. But why must I see things like this? This, this, this is this is evil. Like seriously. Like this is not mean or um any other words that ya ya use or whatever. That's no. This is just pure evil. He's autistic. I mean, let me just put it like this. Any kid with any type of disability, you shouldn't put your hands on them. Well, let me take that back. Um, unless you're the parent, um, and let's say like there's just certain things or whatever, like you know your kid, right? I mean, that's your issue, like that's your business. No one should be in your business, what you do when you're a child, as long as that it doesn't, it doesn't go more than like abuse, right? Because discipline or being a strict parent or um, whatever the case is, that's fine. But being abusive, that's not cool. Um, but the worst part is when you're not the parent, right? Because it's like, who told you to put your hands on this kid? Like, who gave you the permission? No one. Well, at least not the parent, right? And honestly... I don't care. That's fucking evil. Excuse my language. Maybe not. I don't care. Yeah. Like, I have no words because I have a son with a disability. I don't know if you guys have bothered to see my last videos, my, well, my past videos. I did a video with a good friend of mine. Um, she also had kids um, with disability, special needs. And um, my son has Smith McGinnis syndrome. It's a rare genetic disease. And I'd be damned if a principal or teacher <laughs> put their hands on my son. Um, my son actually had an incident back when he was three years old. Not that a teacher put their hands on him or whatever, but um, he got into a fight with another kid. The teacher never told me there was no incident report, whatever, whatever. Y'all already know. Well, y'all don't know me, but the ones that know me already know that I went above and beyond to make sure the teacher got in trouble. Um, security guards will call on me because I was pissed off. Like, I was not, I wasn't having it. And so I just feel like when it's an, an adult that put their hands on your kid, because this was just a kid that put their hands on my kid, right? Like, they got into a fight. But imagine an adult, like I would lose my shit, honestly. Like I don't care if people call it ghetto or like maybe there should be another way to approach it. There's no fucking way to approach when another adult put their hands on your kid with a disability, period. Well, well any kid, period. But I say more, kids with special needs, disability are special because some of them, no, a lot of them stay quiet with abuse right so it could be physical or even verbal and they don't say anything and they t 
adults take advantage of that, which is fucking crazy to me. Cause it's like, um, hey, dummy, don't you see what you're doing? Like, what your behavior and what you did was not okay, right? Like, that shit. You know. I feel like there should be a law that should be passed for the parents that have kids with disability that if a teacher or um, a principal or another adult that, that doesn't have a title put their hands on your kid and you find out that we should be able to do what we have to do to them and we're not gonna get in, and we don't get in trouble for it, right? Because what we're doing is protecting our kids. And it's showing people we don't we don't we're not we're not playing that we're not gonna have that. I'm not going to allow you to abuse my kid. Like that's my kid, right? I don't care what's your title. I don't care who you think you are. I don't care if you're up here and I'm down here. I don't care because title don't mean nothing to me. It doesn't. I don't give a damn about that. Don't put your hands on my kid. Period. I don't care if you feel oh, but your kid. I don't care if my kid cross lines. That's my business. Let me handle my son. Because I know how I handle how how I handle my son, and this behavior that this man showed to this boy and what he did, definitely not okay. And that principal not only should get fired, but the parents should sue that principal for putting his hands on that kid. Like that shit just it boils my blood because it's like. You have a kid for these kids, you go above and beyond for them, and you know the struggle that you go through. Any parents that have kids with disabilities, especially me, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know the struggle, y'all know the late nights, y'all know the cries, y'all know the anxiety, y'all know the depression, y'all know the what ifs, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all know that y'all don't, y'all don't want to leave this earth without securing something for y'all kid, you know, because y'all, okay, let me tell you something. In my opinion, Humans have become so evil throughout the years. Like, to me, it's like, I don't believe anything anyone says. Um, it's crazy because when I was younger, I always believed anything anyone would say. Mostly because I like keep giving people benefit of the doubt. And don't get me wrong, at times, certain situations I do, not when it comes to my kids, though. Hell nah. Um, I don't give a damn what's your title, how many years you've done this, and blah, 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 blah. Still don't believe you and don't care neither. Pass. But, like, other things, um, I'll be like, okay, fuck it. You know, that person was, you know, busy doing something or, you know, they'll call me back next week. Um, that's fine. You know, even if you don't, now I know you're a liar. And that's it. That's what it is. Um, but... I could just go on and on and on about this because it's, it's disgusting to me. It, it really is. And speaking of that, mm, I finally got... This is another topic. <laughs> I finally got an answer from my son's school. So they're going to work with him to get back into school. Um, because as of now, he's still, he's still, he is still home with me and, um, they are going to do a whole, I, I said this before, I think like two past videos, they're going to do a whole new evaluations and testing and assessments and blah, 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 blah. You know, she took the teacher, not teacher, the coordinator, let me know that I might be overwhelmed with all of this information and, you know, going back and forth, you know, and Aiden having to go into school and picking him up and bring him back home and then going back to school again to pick him up so they can do like one-on-one -on -one assessments or whatever. I told her, I'm good. <laughs> like, I've been through so much with my son. Um, this is nothing to me, for me or for him, you know. Um, Aiden's been through a lot of testings, assessments and evaluations and surgeries yeah surgeries not major thank god but um surgeries and scares we've had scares before too so it's like i, I just want to thank god for that because he's made me so strong and i just like i just i say it like this if it wasn't for god making me as strong as i am and a strong advocate and you know don't confuse 
someone because of what I show outside that I'm I could be mean, like I'm mean or like I'm bitchy. I'm <laughs> I'm a certain way because I feel like I have to present represent Aiden in a different way if that makes sense, right? Like I don't like to be like I don't like to be all friendly just yet. Especially when it come, when I'm dealing with anything about my son, um, just because I need people to know that I'm serious about my son's education and his care, and there's no ha ha he he moments for me. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not besties. Like we're not. You know I'm not here to to make sure you get paid for your job and blah blah blah. No, um, that's why I let the coordinator know. Like my son ain't be going ain't, ain't going. My son ain't going to school until this is all corrected. Until I you know, go to these meetings and find out, okay, what would be best? What happened, Aiden? It stopped? Oh, you turned it off? Baby, don't turn... You okay? Don't turn it off. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, so, um... I just don't hold up. I'm ready for anything. If I have to drive from here to um, the special education department office, that's what I'm going to do too. If I have to drive an hour or two for my son to get tested even more, maybe um, even more, that's what I'm going to do. So um, that's just the type of mother that I am, period. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Mm. And then, this is the last rant. I promise. I was with, with the... I was with them. I was with... <laughs> I was on the phone with... Customer service because... I had a question about something, something. And... You know, I didn't... It's not that I said shit to her... I said shit to the situation. Like, I was like, shit, man, this is crazy. You know, like that. Because, like, what the fuck? Like, time is ticking, right? That's how I felt because of my situation. But again, I wasn't saying shit to her. I was saying just shit to the situation. How come this lady... Let me... It's gonna come on now. Give it a second. This lady come... She has the nerve to tell me, ma'am... You shouldn't be using profanity. And I'm like, excuse me? I'm like, look, I can say whatever I want, okay? I'm not disrespecting you. What are you talking about? And she was like, I'm not gonna be helping. And I'm like, yo, okay. You see, that's where I'd be like, oh, hell no. What you mean you're not gonna help me just because I said shit? Like, are you kidding me? Like. Again, I didn't disrespect you. It's not you're not the problem. I'm saying shit about my situation. Like, what the hell? And I just feel like ever since COVID, motherfuckers don't want to work. And then not only that, motherfuckers don't even want, not only that they don't want to work, but they make your situation even harder than what it's supposed to be. Mind you, when I gave her my words because I did, we exchanged it <laughs> words, and then I hung up on her because she was annoying the shit out of me. I called again because that's what I do. I'm a call. So I called again and I got another person. And this person was super sweet, super nice. Baby, go over there. Baby, go over there. Um, What I was going to say, oh yeah, so she was super sweet, super nice. And which, thank you for that. Um, You know, I was like, I was already like, kind of like heated but when i heard her voice and she was like like i said super sweet super nice <laughs> excuse me i was like hey you know and i like let her know about my situation she said i'm wanting to help you just get a bear with me give me a sec whatever she was looking at my inspiration and she was like yeah you're good um just wait for an email and you should be good to go well um why that lady couldn't be nice because first of all she sounded like a dumbass to be honest from the beginning and again i was chill you know what i'm saying like i wasn't i wasn't saying um excuse me man why you sound like that no i didn't i just i kept being nice until she gave me a reason not to be nice anymore after i said shit even though it wasn't to her it was to my situation 
But anyways, yeah, so I feel like COVID, not only with um, these type of people, but with teachers too. And principals. So that, I, I exchange the words with the principal too. I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't care about your title. What you gonna do? Nothing. And what I mean what you gonna do, I mean like, you can't get me arrested. I ain't put my hands on you. You can't get me in trouble with any no, anyone else. I'm just stating facts. If I say something I don't like, and I approach you about it, or I ask you a question or whatever, and I can see that you're bullshitting me, because it's like, how you don't know when someone is bullshitting you? Really. Like, these days, everyone is a fucking bullshit and a ma manipulative and fucking liars. I don't give a damn. So... If you don't know how to answer the question, or you have an attitude, or you dismiss me, I know you're lying. And we have nothing else to say to each other. Period. Hmm. No, no, man. In this life, you gotta be strong. And you gotta show people, like, I don't play those type of games. Yes, at the beginning, I'm sweet and I'm nice and I'm understanding. But once I see a pattern, I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait. Wait a minute, you know? Like, people, they abuse that shit. And don't get me wrong. That's not gonna change that. I'ma still be nice to other people that are nice to me, or whoever it is that I come across, I'ma still be nice because why should other people pay the price for how other people act or how other people play you? That's not their fault. But, yeah, mm. it's sure is good. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. Anyway, before I end this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Yaga's channel. Thank you for the 10 subscribers. I'm feeling ya. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. And yeah, I guess I'll see ya on another video. Alright. Peace. Yeah.